Hi everybody, this is Suzy Readings and hi Aries. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you. In case this reading resonates with you, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. You can also have a look at your yearly predictions in the description box below if you wish to have a look at it. Let's start off your reading with your oracle messages first. Low. New beginnings. Wow. So, Aries, you have a lot to look forward to. You have new stuff here that you're manifesting, new beginnings um, that are coming your way. So, I feel like a lot of you are in this energy where. You may feel like this is a time for you to withdraw your attention from something that's, you know, not worthy of your time anyway. And you're trying to put the focus back onto yourself. And you have new things to look forward to, which is great. I also feel like you're getting over um, some sort of hot break here or something like that. Let's see, though. Wow, okay. Okay, your reading started off with your own energy. So, I feel like Aries, you are in your own energy, you're in your own vibe, you're healing, you're moving forward. And, you know, you're pretty much in the right mindset, okay? There is also... Um, a good news that may be coming in for you. Um, there's, There could be a legal settlement here, something that's gonna go in your favor. Um, for some of you, this is a great time period to start something new work-wise, or it's like you could get appreciation for your work. Um, there's this energy of you outshining other people around you so this is like it's almost like you're the star of the show here okay you're creating your own happiness with the king of wands the emperor it does look like at times you're not feeling very confident in yourself, but then at the same time, Aries, you have, you know, you have a lot of major arcana here showing up for you and your reading started off with your own energy, the emperor, which is you, it's, it's you finding your way um, back to yourself, okay? There's Libra energy, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius so far. So yes, work-wise, I see good stuff here for you and some of you could be doing some sort of collaborative work or you could be applying for a new job, you could be pitching an idea. Now even if you on the outside you're seeming to work hard, work towards your dreams, your goals, there is a sense of burden in your energy which we will see later on what that is. So you have the king and the queen of wands together, there's someone who views you as the one, okay? Um, this could be a new person here with the Fool card. Yeah, you just want to be happy. And let me tell you that this is a really, really good reading. I see a lot of you getting over a heartbreak. There's something new. There's something really exciting uh, for you on the horizon, Aries. And I don't see, you know, good readings all the time. And of course, when I do, I have to tell you, and this reading is really good. There's someone who, who's viewing you as their wish fulfillment. There's someone who feels like you're the one for them. And moving forward, I see you trusting your intuition. Some of you could be getting intuitive messages. King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. So certain things in your life that were slow, they're going to pick up pace. King of Pentacles, 
is also a more grounded energy. King of Pentacles is um, King of Pentacles is someone here who definitely works hard towards their dreams, goals, but they've also achieved something. Coming from the Knight to the King here, so I love this reading so much. What's that star card about for Aries, please? Ten of Cups. This is about what makes you happy. Ten of Pentacles. Like, are you kidding me, Aries? This is literally the happily ever after kind of an energy. Some of you, if you've been single, I'm telling you that you're attracting someone here who wants to be with you, who wants to spend a lot of time with you. Um, and in fact, it's not just that, but this person actually they see a relationship with you okay <clears throat> tell me about the emperor for aries hangman yeah so a lot of you are in this energy where you've spent enough time contemplating on something and now you're ready to take action you've been in the thinking mode lately you've been thinking about things your perspective on certain things has changed some of you feel like there's a need for you to invest your time money energy resources wisely you're getting the three of pentacles twice in your reading so this is about work this is about your work getting recognized this is about good opportunities coming your way work wise okay <clears throat> and it could also be some stuff that you've been waiting on perhaps a decision that you've been waiting on something like that is also going to happen for you it's going to come true for you so let's have a look aries in your let's have a look at your future energy eight of wands so i see communication king uh, sorry the queen of wands is coming in again so i see communication some of you could be dealing with a fire sign which is aries Leo, sagittarius i really feel like aries this is a reading for you to claim the lovers at the bottom of the deck with the judgment again a lot of the cards in your reading today they're coming in again and again there is repetitive energy there's a choice in love that is being presented to you here aries um and your reading of course started off with this card which is beautiful the new beginnings card so prepare for these new beginnings the thing here is that you've gone through a tough time period in your life okay and trust me i've seen i've done other readings not all readings are like this okay What's that fool card about? 401. I mean, I'm done. I'm done. Where do I even go? What's that? Now, I know someone's going to leave a comment and say, this reading is too good to be true. I don't have a person like this in my life. Then fine. What do I do about it? I mean, look at this. This is not my reading. It's your reading, Aries. There's a new beginning. In fact, for those of you who are single, you are attracting a relationship okay and this is going to happen this year or early on like next year but there's something here about you giving this person a chance what's that devil reverse and the eight of pentacles so yes working hard towards your goals your dreams I do feel like a lot of you may have recognized that something was toxic in the past. It did break your heart with this Three of Swords energy. But you're also choosing to move move past this energy now. Um, you're not choosing to focus on this too much. Let's see.
Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles and the Three of Swords energy. Magician reverse temperance. Yeah, this is something that drained you, exhausted you. A lot of you also felt like you have little to no control over things, even little to no control over your own life. And with that uh, temperance card here, you're you're you know you're, you're creating some space now. Um, there's this energy of being patient, healing yourself. You're definitely getting over a heartbreak here, and money is looking really good for you. Look at that nine of pentacles. And you're going from the eight to the nine to the ten of pentacles. So this is like a step forward here that is being taken. I love this reading so much. This is an amazing reading. Um, in your extended Aries, I'm going to have a look at your person's energy, their feelings for you, outcome advice, love notes, guidance, all of that. Also your blessings and challenges. So do have a look. It will be linked below if you wish to do so. We have fork in the road, number 13. Number one and three could be significant for you or number 13. Um, building blocks. I swear this card shows up for almost everybody in these set of readings. It has shown up. I feel like um, Aries, you're definitely getting out of a tough cycle in your life but you have a decision to make here it does look like your advice here a part of your advice here is to show flexibility towards certain situations in your life don't be so rigid you do have certain decisions to make but to me it's looking like with that orphaned card there's a need for you to let go of um maybe a negative approach towards something okay You don't really need to bend over backwards for nobody. Okay. But you have a decision to make. Number five, number 19, number 28, and number 13 are showing up. So these could be significant numbers for you. Um, Let's see. Page of Pentacles. Starting something new. You have a decision to make when it comes to love with the lovers in the Page of Pentacles. There's someone here who's going to be coming towards you, Aries. And you have a decision to make in regards to this person. Okay? That's about it, Aries. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Have a look at the extended link below. If you wish to do so, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.